In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So, dear friends, welcome once again to Sacred Heart Church. It is so good to see you and uh, to have the chance to be with, with you, your families, and your sponsors. And, of course, uh, we welcome also anyone who may be catching up um, by looking at the uh, video that we're making for, for the occasion and also um, the live stream which has started now. So welcome to everyone at home to this celebration of confirmations. Holy Confirmation, a sacrament of the church, young people on their way to the next stage of their lives with the help of their family and friends and sponsors uh, for this sacrament and with the help of those in the schools and education system and with the help of your community, uh, a path which I hope will lead you to greater happiness and greater joy in the Lord. It's a step in Christian faith. So thank you for taking part in that wonderful witness to your Christian faith as Catholics. So we welcome the five families uh, who have um, come along with the candidates and a special welcome to the sponsors. I was very pleased and well delighted really to see the variety of names uh, that you chose to be your patron saints and uh, we'll have a chance to hear those names when you are confirmed. But it's, it shows a great deal of initiative on your part. So we want now in the company of those saints to acknowledge that we need God's forgiveness as we confess our sins together. So if you can say the words with me, join in. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now, because it's such an important day, we say together the Gloria, that is, the hymn to God's glory. If you can remember the words, please join in. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that in the same spirit we may truly be wise and ever rejoice in his consolations through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. So now please be seated. And so we have our reading from the Book of Acts. So, Scott, if you'd like to step up to the microphone and read to us from that great story. A reading from the Apostles. The Apostles were still in Jerusalem. They heard that the people of Samaria had accepted the word of God. So they sent Peter and John to them. When Peter and John arrived, they prayed that the Samaritan believers might receive the Holy Spirit. These people had been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, but the Holy Spirit had not yet entered any of them. 
Then, when the two apostles began laying their hands on the people, they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much, Scott. So that story of the early church being born there by the gift of the Holy Spirit. The psalm now will be led by Rosie. So Rosie, if you would like to step up uh, to the lectern and lead us in our psalm. Thank you. Response. The Lord hath prepared his throne in heaven. The Lord hath prepared his throne in heaven. For David himself, bless the Lord, O my soul, and let all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all he hath done for thee. The, the Lord, Lord has prepared, prepared his throne, throne in, in heaven. heaven. For according to the height of the heaven above the earth, he hath strengthened his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. The Lord, the Lord hath prepared, prepared his throne in heaven. heaven. The Lord hath prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom shall rule over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, ye that are mighty in strength, and execute his word. The Lord hath prepared his throne in heaven. Thank you very much, Rosie. That was beautiful, loud and clear. We have our reading now from the Gospel, and it is um, our tradition always uh, to stand as we listen to the story of Jesus. So if you'd like to stand now, and I'll help prepare by singing the Alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia, the Holy Spirit will teach you all things and bring all things to your mind. Whatsoever I shall have, I give to you. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus showed himself to his disciples after his resurrection. And when they had eaten, he said to Peter, Simon Peter, son of John, do you love me? more than these others do. He answered, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He replied, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, Look after my sheep. Then he said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was upset that he had asked the third time, do you love me? And he said, Lord, you know everything. You know I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. I tell you most solemnly, when you were young, you put on your own belt and walked where you liked. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will put a belt around you and take you where you would rather not go. In these words, he indicated the kind of death by which Peter would give glory to God. And after this, he said to them, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated now. So now, uh, following uh, a few words, um, which I'll speak 
in your honor. Um, we will move to the sacrament of confirmation. And I have to say, when I was young, it, a lot of the words that I heard, um, I mean, for example, uh, when I was young, we spoke of Firmung. Firmung is the sacrament of uh, confirmation in German. And uh, la confirmation in French. And uh, even the word sacrament, whether in English or French or German, to me, it didn't mean anything, he, um, even though I was experiencing a lot of exposure to the church uh, as a young person. And it, it seemed like it was the world of grown-ups and uh, you would hear about the gospel and um, following Jesus and everything and the Holy Spirit, what is this all about? So as a young person, I would just kind of mix with other people, my age, young people, and we, we, we would pass notes to each other at Mass. Uh, we would stick our elbows in each other and try not to giggle and things like that. It was normal in a way, but it was kind of bad behavior, but normal in a way. And then and later on, it became more important to try to understand um, what the world is really all about try to make some sense of it. And so we looked uh, to places where we knew there was a very important message for us. And I, I think that's what's happening now. So just take in what you can from this very important message that God created us, loves us, holds us, gives us freedom. We can go our own way. But if we choose to go God's way, we will always we will always find happiness, even in the sadness of life. So this is your way of saying yes to God. In the story we heard of Peter, this is at the time when Jesus has risen, and you remember Peter said, I don't know who he is. You know he denied Jesus when he was arrested. Peter said, I don't know him, three times. And Jesus simply says, after the resurrection, he says, do you love me? And Peter has to say yes three times. That's all we're doing now is maybe just once is enough, but do you love Jesus? Do you love God? Do you want to be closer? So now we come to the moment when we present ourselves before the Lord to say a yes to the to this wonderful experience of love. So take your candles, get them ready. And uh, if the sponsors and um, candidates will come forward now, I'll show you where to stand, all right? So come on on closer to the steps. Ah, oh, just a moment, I think I've forgotten a bit. Go back to your places, go back to your places. <laughs> we have bidding prayers, isn't that right? So let's see, um, could I invite our readers to come forward and stand where I am and, we'll, and you'll lead us in our bidding prayers. So everyone stand up. Thank you. We pray that the gifts of right judgment and courage will prevent us from criticizing other people or being jealous of them and help us to own up when we are wrong. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that the gift of knowledge will make us love God better and make us ready to do whatever he wants us to do. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that the gift of wisdom will help us to see God in all things and all people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. <clears throat> we pray that the gift of understanding will help us to choose what is right, make us consider other people, 
and work to make a better world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that the gift of piety will help us act like Jesus did and so give a good example to others. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that the gift of wonder and awe in God's presence will make us aware of God in all that happens and especially in the care and love of our parents and friends. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Thank you all very much. And while we're standing, let's add a prayer because this is the month of May and it's a month which is in honor of Mary, the mother of Jesus. So if you know the words in English or in any language that is uh, more um, agreeable uh, for you, use, the, use those words. But let's pray now together in honor of Our Lady and ask her to pray f with us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So please be seated now. And uh, I see as I look at the order of service, sorry, Michelle, I still got that in the wrong place, but it's okay. So we've done our bidding prayers, and now we're going to have the confirmation itself. So let me uh, once again invite the candidates to come forward and with their sponsor. And bring your candle, please, bring your candle. Thank you. We come now to the renewal of baptismal vows, that is the vows which were spoken on your behalf by your parents and godparents when you were baptized. And now you have a chance to reaffirm those vows as young people today, this, this evening. It's, an, it's uh, your choice now and you've made that choice. So. We will all join in, though, in responding to the words that you will hear, and they basically are the words of the creed that you will be familiar with. So have your candles ready as I go around, and um, we'll light them, and you keep them safely upright during the rest of this part of the Mass. So hold them up, and I'll light them now. And I'll use the Easter candle, the Paschal candle, as I mentioned, to light your candles.
You have received the light of Christ. May you live by that light always with the help of your parents, your godparents, your family, your friends, your sponsors. May you live by the light of the gospel, following always the way of Jesus, doing what he would do, saying what he would say, letting him be in the world through you. Renewal of baptismal promises. So the response is, we do. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? We do. Do you believe in God, the Father, almighty, creator of heaven and earth? We do. Nice and loud. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated in glory at the right hand of the Father? We do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost and today is given to you sacramentally in confirmation? We do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? We do. This is our faith, the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. I hold here this oil, which is called chrism, blessed by our bishop and distributed to all the parishes so that uh, we may partake in this grace that comes to us through anointing, the anointing at baptism, the anointing uh, at confirmation. So we give thanks to God for this gift, that through this holy anointing, we may truly receive the Spirit of God in our lives. Amen. Now in silence, I will lay my hands upon you as a prayer on behalf of the whole parish, just for you. Dear friends, in baptism, God gave new birth to his chosen sons and daughters, a birth to eternal life. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit to strengthen these children with his gifts and to anoint them to be more like Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I invite the congregation now to join us in the silent prayer for these young people. O powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them a new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon these children to be their helper and their guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
As I bestow on behalf of our bishop the outward sign of this sacrament, the children will announce the name that they have chosen um, from among the saints to be their special patron. So I'll invite you to have that ready for me as we go around. But as I said at the beginning, a big thank you to all of you for being so creative in your choice of saints and for taking that so seriously. These saints now have a special role to play in your life, not just as historical figures, but as living beings who care for you and who pray with you and for you. Francis of Assisi, what a saint. Try to live up to his wonderful example. Good. Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. So now, thank you very much, everyone, and you may blow out your candle now, and be careful not to splatter it everywhere. There you go, too bad. Well, <laughs> that's all, 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 all of the uh, candles in the church have contributed over the centuries to that effect. So if you'll go back to your pews with your sponsors behind you, and since we've had our bidding prayers, we'll move on now to the celebration of the Mass, and that will lead us to Holy Communion. So thank you very much, everyone. And we'll have a chance at the very end of the Mass to show our appreciation for each and every one of you individually.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand now and pray with me, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and cleanse our hearts by the light of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand in glory, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore, now and for ages unending, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We come now to the most central parts of the Mass, the, at the center is the Last Supper of Jesus and then the cross and resurrection. So we bring those into our experience now. We make real all that we celebrate now as we remember him. So in honor of Jesus, we kneel, if you can do that now, or if, you, if, it's, not too com if it's not too easy, then you can sit. We want, to, we want to show our reverence and respect. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his suffering, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord God, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, Leo, our Bishop, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially those for whom we now pray. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, the holy martyrs, and all the patron saints of these children gathered before you, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise you and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. So now in the presence of this great miracle, we stand and pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming in glory of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. So now, if you would like to share a sign of peace with the people around you, do that in any way that's appropriate. We have shared a sign of peace, and now we share this one holy and living bread, his body broken for us. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to eternal life. Amen.
come now to uh, Holy Communion. So as I said before, if you'll come forward um, down the center aisle, uh, one, one, one at a time, uh, well, the family groups at a time, and then return to your pew by the side. Thank you. Let us stand and pray together. 
Lord, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit cleanse our hearts and make them fruitful by the inner sprinkling of his divine dew through Christ our Lord. Amen. So now we come to uh, the, uh, the part which I think we all really like, and that's the appreciations for all that you've put into um, this wonderful day. And of course, it's a great sadness that we can't have a party with a cake and everything, and you know, we have the best baker in the parish. I hope I can say that. <laughs> I don't want to. But anyway, certainly it would, it's something we can look forward to. Maybe after COVID, we can have some kind of reunion parties for some of these occasions. It would be really nice. Meanwhile, though, we can certainly show our appreciation by giving out our certificates and a little gift for each of the candidates. So I'll call you by your name. And just come forward. And I wish I could shake your hand, but I'm not really supposed to be touching. We're not supposed to be touching uh, anyone outside of our bubble. Uh, my bubble is just other priests. That is, that's it, up there in, in the building in this, where I live. And so well, I'll give you a kind of an air uh, handshake um, instead. So let's um, invite, you can sit down now as we do this because it will take a moment. So go ahead and sit. There you are, a lovely colorful basket. Let me hold it up. Courtesy of <laughs> Michelle, I think. <laughs> you didn't make this, did you? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. So here we are, and inside we have something for all of you. So um, I'll, start with, uh, the, I'll start with Kate and Scott, if you don't mind once again being together as a, I know. But um, I'll tell you what, no, let's, let's do them one at a time. So Kate. Come on up and get your certificate. Um. Kate, there we go. May God bless you and keep you safe. Very well. Thank Scott, it's your turn. Here we go. Come on and uh, receive your certificate. It's beautifully done and a nice present to go with it. And thank you. Oh, this is very good. Thank you. Um, Rosie, come on here. Thank you for very much for leading us in that wonderful psalm. And here you go. I think uh, you can hang on to all of that. Thank you. Ah, uh, who have we here? Kenty, Kenty Gurn. Great. Here we go. Under the protection of Margaret of Scotland, may you prosper for years to come. There you go. Thank you, Kenty. And that leaves, let's see, Fergus, you were the first to arrive, and so here it is. You're the last to receive your, your certificate. Last but not least, Fergus. There we go. Thank you very much. That's it. Then i there's nothing for the parents. Sorry about that, but that's, uh, I should have thought of that myself, actually. But oh, well, just where would it end? I mean, we'd have to include the sponsors, too, and, of course, all the siblings and the cousins and the aunts and the uncles. So let's ask for a blessing from God. That's the best present of all. So could you stand? Oh, yes, before we do, I think Michelle deserves a hand clap, too. <laughs> Michelle, thank you. <laughs> So, thank you very much, Michelle. So, after all, it's been a tough year. It's been a tough year for all of us. But, so, Michelle, thank you for setting an example of how we can really get through a difficult year and really with God's blessing. And so let's ask for that blessing once more. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Okay, so let's see, what are we going to do? What's the idea here? Uh,